Summerfield uh, is what we term a master plan community. That is, we, we've looked at creating a community from day one. It's not just a whole lot of homes being built on a large parcel of land. 20% of our total area is devoted to green urban spaces, that is parks and gardens, walkways, um, ornamental lakes, uh, and it creates a feeling of community because those open spaces are accessible by all residents. We integrated that with all the existing facilities in the area beyond Summerfield. Immediately adjacent is a major shopping centre. Uh, there is one of Australia's best schools, Halibri College, a number of golf courses and a superb freeway uh, system which is literally on the, in, the, in the backyard of, of, um, of Summerfield, 500 metres away, which gives access to the city within 23 minutes with only one traffic light between Summerfield and the city. The end value of the project is over a billion Australian dollars, which is, makes it one of Melbourne's largest um, residential developments uh, for quite some time. We've already seen in the last three years a substantial capital growth in the underlying value of the land that we've been um, selling. This is really the last substantial piece of land in this area that will support residential development. So it's, it's simply a function of supply and demand. Uh, there's no more supply, there's obviously demand for an area like Summerfield with all the facilities uh, surrounding it. And over time, as we sell more of the remaining parcels that we own, uh, scarcity will simply force land values up. We are also close to major employment centres. Uh, Dandenong, which is Melbourne's second city effectively, is only five kilometres away. Our government, our state government, has put a lot of money into the centre of Dandenong to substantially upgrade the city facilities and to, to really um, put hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars back into that area, which is going to obviously benefit everyone, including residents of Summerfield.